Hi, so I wanted to talk about the planner system I'm going to use for 2020. It's taken me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. For 2019, I basically just printed calendars off the internet and actually I think for 2018, for the most part too, uh, printed calendars off the internet, punched them and put them in my uh, like full size arc notebook and that was working well. Uh, one thing though that I felt was just missing like that was a calendar but I felt like I I'm, I'm have like no self-care in my life um, maybe just my nails and that's it <laughs> and that's not all the time anymore and uh, it's probably because I have a one and a half year old but <clears throat> I just felt like I have some goals you know now that I we've I have a one and a half year old we've moved back to where we were from I have my old job back and like my major things in life are I feel like on a right on the right track that now I have some goals that I would like to knock out some career goals and some personal goals and I I'm trying to be realistic about that as well but there are some things career-wise that I do need to get done and so I was just kind of, you know, thinking about the whole thing and I hadn't committed to buying anything. And, um, I was, I don't even remember what inspired me, but I, I just thought, you know, I, I would like to give this success choice planning system. I, I would like to get that again, because that's really a planning system. That's all about self care and it's very comprehensive. You use what you want. Don't use what you don't want. I used it for years and I've always really liked it. I've come back to it so many times. So, um, you know, coincidentally, serendipitously, that's a word. I got an email with a coupon code and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. I already know that I like the system. If nothing else, you know, it's, it was, it ended up being around $35, which is very inexpensive for a planner. Um, if you're, you know, not just buying something from the dollar store and it's the whole system. So I thought I'm going for it. And, um, here it is. So <laughs> I, I got it about, a, I want to say a week ago. So I've already started using it a little bit, but this is my first opportunity to, to make a video about it. So some of it has some writing in it. So before I get into that though, um, and show you, because it is different from what I remember, I, I don't remember the last time I bought it. I want to say the last time I bought that system was, it's been quite a few years. Um, so it's, it's pretty, there's some things that are pretty different from what I remember. So I'm going to go over that. Uh, but before I do, this is the pen that I've been loving lately. I've been loving it in my class. It's perfect for, for doing notes under the document camera because it's very bold ink, but it's super fine tipped. And so it's perfect for math and, um, it's the Pilot Precise V5 Retractable, which I am positive I've done a review on, but I also am going to use it in my planner, at least to start. I've been doing it for like the goals. I've been using it for the goal setting part. So loving this pen, just wanted to throw that out there for you. So this notebook cover is a cover that I bought years ago um, when it was on sale. I would, I, she sends out coupon codes a lot. So I would wait until that one comes out. If you want to invest, you can also just buy it quarter at a time. And usually that's like 10, 15 bucks. So you can give the planner a try if you're interested before you invest in anything else. Excuse me. But, um, this is something I've used for years and I, you know, know I like it. And so, um, anyway, these four books are the planner themselves, the planner itself, the planner themselves, the planners themselves. Um, and this is a planner cover. What I've decided at this point that I'm going to do is I've got my planners and I like to kind of the routine we've fallen into. My mom watches our, our son. And so when she's over here during the day, I like to have my calendar open so that she can write things on it for me, like so that I know about her and my dad, and that I can write things on it so that she can see what's going on with me and my husband and my son. So it's just kind of like, it's almost like our fam family calendar, and it stays open on my desk. So that, you know, has been in the ARC notebook. But um, 
now it's going to be in this, which is perfect because it lies flat and all of that. But I also, um, you know, wanted to kind of get back into a little more self-care and a little more, you know, thinking about my goals and, and that kind of thing. And so I purchased the journal that kind of goes with the 2020 planner. It's sort of a companion. I guess the topics match up with the monthly topics in the planner, which you'll see in a minute. And so I decided I was kind of going back and forth, like, how do I want to use this? And this cover, it's beautiful. You can see it's, it's pretty old and beat up, but this cover um, can hold really realistically two books. It can hold all three if I wanted it to, but it's, it's a bit much. So I have the planner companion. If you're interested in any of these things that I don't go into detail about, I have videos in my playlist. You can look at my planner playlist and look for the success choice and you'll find videos that detail all of this stuff. Um, if I don't go into it, so like this book. So I still have this. I have my original one. Um, but I think I'm going to keep this in here and I think I'm going to keep my journal in here. The journal for 2020 is the same as the journal that I showed before. It's got some information on the cover and then and this just slides in like this. These are all little separate books and it just slides in. And um, the journal is, it, it just has a bunch of prompts. And so like I said, I think these are like, I, I haven't looked one for one, but I think they kind of coincide is what it said with what is in the planner. And then something that's different about this, and so I'll try to comment on the things that you know are new to me. The paper is bright white and um, it has dot grid on this side and it's blank on this side instead of being blank and then lined. And at the bottom of the page, there's always a quote. And so I thought I'm gonna keep the journal in this at my desk because, sorry, my husband's walking in and maybe he can turn his YouTube down. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my journal at my desk so that I can write, but I figured if I keep it in the cover, that it's a little more private and it's not going to sit out in the open and there's no need for really anybody to go in here but me. So that's going to be one part to my my planning sort of system. I was just trying to make a video when I had the chance. So here's the planner itself. Sorry, that was me talking to my husband. <laughs> so the planner comes in for parts. It comes in quarters and you can order them by the quarter or you can order them as a full year. She ha uh, has them as unpunched, hole punched, disc punched. She also sells planner covers that, you know, fit all of those different things as well. It's like, it's similar to an A5 size planner. And again, all of the details will be in, you know, the size of the page hasn't changed. I have, like I said, much more detailed videos on my playlist. So I'll just kind of take you through what's in here. So uh, this is the first quarter. Each book is a different color. And sorry about that. I'm, I'm still rusty on this. <laughs> then she's got some instructions. Let me see if I can adjust that lighting a little bit. Maybe that's better. She's got some instructions on, you know, how to use the planner, some suggestions. And then there are some changes. So let me, let me see if that helps a little bit. Because now the pages are so bright white, it just gleams off the page. So she's got the um, previous, current, and future calendar. Then this is different. Okay, I'm gonna mess with lighting again. I'm gonna fold this over. So now immediately after that you go into this what to do in your house yard and car and this list used to appear at the beginning of each month but now it's just all in this three column section and so the other ones will have the other months for those quarters and so she would have things that you would do in your garden or in your house to kind of like you know do monthly to keep you on track and so like put away holiday decorations, plan your vegetable garden, plan your flower garden, vacuum your upholstery, pay your bills, and you can see pay bills is on every month. Um, complete your year goal planning, and then there's lots of areas for you to write your own. And then she's got some things for every week, so like cleaning things. I do the 
the flight lady system, but this is also helpful too, um, like check tires and fluids, things like that. Although I don't do that every week and I think, oh, it's every other week. I still don't do that. So um, good reminders like inspect your car's coolant, AC and performance, right? Because in March now you're going into a warmer season. So this is just a good reminder. If I kind of like that it's not at the beginning of each month now because it's all centralized, you know, in one location. And if you don't use this, then it's just like, you know, a single page at the beginning that you flip over and you don't see it every month. So I think that's a good, a good change. I told you I was already starting to fill some things in here, but this is the 2020 uh, goal planning, and it's pretty much the same as it's always been. Um, definitely, I, I, I feel like it has been the same each time, and so I wanted to get started on it sooner rather than later, so I don't feel like I'm just filling things in to fill them in, but I'm really thinking about what I'm going to focus on. So, like, instead of trying to set, you know, sort of goals in each area, I'm really only going to focus on a few areas that I know I need to get done or that are really important to me. So I've been working on this and this is something that I've, I've missed from any kind of planning is just having goals, accounting for them and keeping track of them and that kind of thing. Then she has this which is new to me and it's the success habit tracker so she describes in the goal setting like how you're going to use this stuff or how she suggests you do but basically these can either be routines that you're trying to build or habits that you're trying to build and then um or something that you need to do to work towards one of your goals and it's just a place for you to keep track every day for the quarter and so she's got space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can use it, or like I said, it's just a single page and it's kind of out of the way, so you don't have to use it, um, but it's there. Then she has a weekly schedule template, and I think this is actually a really great idea that was never in the planner before. So this is a way for you to kind of just like sketch out how your week would look so that you can specifically plan space for you to work on things that are your goals. So like, you know, really accounting for your time and maybe, you know, seven to eight on Sunday night or, or that's Saturday, but Sunday night you would, you know, sit down and do your planning and, you know, reflect on your goals or something. And I, I think this will actually I, th I think I'm I'm looking forward to just kind of thinking about that a little bit more because I feel like now I'm just in survival mode and just, you know, going and going and going. <laughs> That's not a good place to be. Then there's an area of balance, or it's areas of balance planner, and it has each of the areas that she talks about in goal setting. And so this is just a place for you to either brainstorm or make a little checklist. You can see there's little dashes there so they can do a checklist you can brainstorm you can you know maybe more clearly articulate your goals here then there's a notes creativity section and this is at the beginning of each month I believe and then the month comes on a hard card stock and it's got um, a colored edge so the months are really clear you know where where they are and at the top, this is pretty much the same, although the paper in this, again, is different to me. It's bright white, and she uses a lot of, like, dot grid instead of just lines, which is kind of nice. So um, she's got a focus for the month, then she has a quote, and then this is different. This, this looks different. Um, so she's got an area here for charts, tracking, or lists. It's just a dot grid area. And then a goals or tasks list. So to do, and there's check boxes, and there's, you know, two columns of lines, or you could just write it across one. There's a spot to write where you're, who you're delegating it to if you're doing that. And then this is um, something she's always had, which is fruits and vegetables that are in season. So this looks different. Like I said, some of this is at the front of the planner. And then here is the monthly planner. And so it starts on a Sunday and it's got lines in the boxes, which is nice. And it's got the holidays 
at least American holidays. At the bottom, notes, challenges, milestones, or challenge milestones, rather. There's uh, a quote at the top. And then over here are challenge notes. And so these are challenge goals, actions, and progress. And she describes more of this in the front of the planner. And um, like I said, if you're interested in a more in-depth thing, you can either ask or uh, look at a previous video. I don't know how much of that has actually changed. Then on the back of that, this is similar to what it was before. And so this is um, more about the areas of balance, what you're going to focus on for the month, some month goals and tasks. And then th these I really like, and um, I want to read these and kind of incorporate these. So this is like the focus, right, is create. And so she talks more about things to do or to think about. Like here, it's traditions, like creating traditions in your family. And so I want to do that now that we have like our family and I'm interested in doing that kind of thing. So this is the kind of information that's at the beginning of each month, except these things will change. Then the week looks different now too. So before for the week, there would be like a shopping list and a meal planner and a list of tasks. That list of tasks is now on that first sheet at the bottom. And then this has just become this column. So you have the spot for your major purpose. And then something else that's different is the weekend days now have a full size column and she put Sunday at the beginning. And so before Sunday was at the end and now it's at the beginning, but it's got a full column. It's still a week on, I think it's, well now it's going to be one, two, three, four pages. I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me, I think at this point. So for the week tasks, um, this is where you can put your shopping list. She's got again the to do's and you can see there's two columns with these little dashed lines and a spot to delegate. And then down here it says meals, shopping list. So you can use this for whatever you want, your tasks, your meals, your shopping list, whatever. I always used it for my meal planner and shopping list. And then now this is what the days look like. Um, she's really improved over the years and I'm thinking about from the very first planner I had got but now it's just those small dashed lines. You know, you have like the two columns, so you could have two check, you know, two checklists or whatever. She has a small AM, a small PM, and then just a line going across so you can divide it up however you want. You could do tasks on the top, appointments on the bottom, home, work. If you have lots of appointments, you could do AM and PM, however you want to do it. Um, and then at the bottom, she has the same little tracker and so I'll show it here but then I'll show it um, on well I can show it yeah on the uh, the week spread she sends you with a little paper clip so that's nice and it's always marked to you know what would be the next appropriate thing to to go to you've got the previous current and future month calendar so this is kind of like the meat of your week and then you have the focus there and then another quote for you so the days all look the same. And then there's just a lot of nice, big, wide open space in the planner now. Before it was really cluttered and like all of the details were really bold and defined. And now, you know, a lot of this kind of falls into the background. They look, I think visually it just looks so much nicer and the font is a lot cleaner. At the bottom, you have this checklist. Um, or however you want to you know think of it but basically you write you have space to write eight things that you you know want to keep track of daily so you might and she used to have things filled into like half of them but you could think of like um swish and swipe if you do like fly lady stuff or you know make your lunches or take your medication or whatever things that you would do daily you can write them there and she has suggested ones in the in the instructions on the cover, but she doesn't have them here anymore, which is kind of nice that they're all empty. And then you would bubble them in each day as you do them. She also has a water tracker. She has um, an exercise tracker, or you could use that for medication, and then fruits and vegetables. So there's five spots there. 
And then she's got this little, just whatever you want to use it for. So you could use it for a little gratitude list, or you could use it for, for whatever. This little star is just for personalized, and you can see it's just kind of like a mini checklist there. And that's really what the planner looks like um, for all the weeks. And so here's Friday and Saturday. So before, Saturday and Sunday used to, like you'd have Saturday and Sunday here. So now it's all spread out. I actually think it looks a lot better and I like that everything's consolidated at the beginning. Then you have the end of the week review, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to using again. This is where you just review your week. You know, what, how, how did you do in progressing towards your goals or just in general um, to kind of hold yourself accountable. And then you've got a notes page. And then it just continues on. And then we get to the end of the month. And so then at the end of every month, you have a log for the month. And so there's a space for noteworthy events, successes, and lessons learned. So there's just another point to reflect. And then you go to February and you start all over again. And then you get to the back of the planner. This was another thing that I thought was just awesome about this planner. It was just all of the forward planning capabilities. So even though you're only carrying around a quarter with you, if you carry it around, it's definitely portable. Um, you have like two years worth of planners with you though. So she's got all the way through April, May, and you see I have things I've got in June, July, August. Why did I not write? Oh my gosh, I wrote everybody's birthdays in July when they should have been in August. Well, I've got to go back and fix that. <laughs> All the way through December 2020. Then you actually even have a calendar for 2021. And that's just, you know, a ton of stuff <laughs> that you can plan out. And then she gives you, I think it's 10 notes pages. And these are just dot grids. So I had some post-its on there that you didn't really need to see. And then there's a categorized index. So if you'll notice at the bottom, each page is labeled with the quarter and then what page it is. At the back, she's got a categorized index so that you can categorize your index. And she's got sections. It's not just a list. And there's pages and then content. I mean, it's really, this is kind of a bullet journal-esque sort of thing, but she was doing it years ago. Then you've got... Um, these oh yeah, no, it goes like this. Obviously, you can see that it's a note, heart, note card holder um, or business card holder, so it holds fourth cards. And I just like to put my appointments in there at this point, um, or whatever. Sometimes I had just some random business cards I didn't know what to do with. So you can get two in each slot, so you really can have eight. And then there's a slip pocket and then more information on how to use the planner. And like here, those are the suggested things. Uh, but that's really it. So each planner follows that same format. And there were some big changes to how it was laid out. And so then the second quarter is April, May, June. And the differences here are going to be different things in the what to do in your house yard car. So instead of at the beginning of each month and each week, it's all here, which I think is just brilliant. And then here's a growth plan. So this is checking in with your goals again and how are you doing and what's kind of holding you back. And then all of it is repeated throughout. And then this, you still get those same forward planning calendars. So actually what would be smart is for me to not just constantly rewrite things in those calendars, but thinking out loud here. And then here is third quarter. And so third quarter, you have your mid-year goal planning check-in. And then here is fourth quarter. And so for fourth quarter, I like this color. It's like a, what is that called? What are those things called? My mom likes them. What are those things called? Persimmon. Persimmons. <laughs> That was going to drive me crazy. Uh, so here, this is the last quarter. And so here's your year in review. 
So highlights, learning experiences, and then you've got a space for your goals. And, you know, did you meet them? So that's, I think, new, actually. Uh, and you can rate yourself and kind of reflect on it. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of the same thing over and over again. And each month, you know, the color of that changes to match the book. So that is what I'm going to use for uh, 2020. I'm pretty excited about it because it's like reuniting with an old friend that I know I like and um, that I've used, except I, th I think that it's improved. The, the changes that she made to the font and the color of the paper and, you know, kind of reordering some of that stuff. I think it's it's even better than it was. So I'm so looking forward to using it and not just having a calendar, but actually kind of having like a little, you know, self-care, reflective kind of system. I think it's more than like a planner. And, um, you know, it's nice to have the journal separate, but also, you know, go with this. But it's in a separate area so that I can just, you know, keep my my calendar open so that anybody can look at my calendar and it doesn't matter. There's not really anything, you know, too personal in here that anybody's going to see. Um, because nobody's going to, you know, flip around through it. And I love that it's, you know, open. It's about the size of a regular sheet of paper. Let's see. Not even. Hmm. Yeah, so it's about eight and a half by 11 open on my desk. So if it's open like this, then that's how much room it takes up. Otherwise, this is literally, you know, all that really needs to be open on my desk each day. And it takes up hardly any room. And I can I just stack it on top of the, the journal. So I'm super excited about using this. And um, if you're interested at all, you should head over to her website, which is right here successchoice.com she saw it all kinds of stuff over there but really this is a system I've used years and years and I've come back to it so many times and at this point it's just nice to have it all there and you know I'm I'm gonna try to make time to have I'm gonna try to make some more time for myself so that I can meet some of those goals that I have for for me in the next year so uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you're using or what you think of this. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.